Okay, so welcome to episode four of, uh, as you know by now, hopefully, Talking Balls podcast. It's accompaniment to the Snooker 19 PlayStation League. And uh, I'm Writer74, and I'm today welcoming another one of those kind of legends of the league and up in the top notch and, and, and in there kind of fighting for the top spoils. And it's, it's J-Boy today. So welcome, J-Boy. I don't know what to call you, J-Boy. J-Boy 10, but that doesn't feel right. Yeah, J-Boy. J-Boy's fine. Yeah, J-Boy's that, that's, that's spot on with me. I've been called worse things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice to see you. You know, we've we obviously kind of caught up and had some friendlies and what have you, and uh, and you're kind enough to give your time. So, you know, much appreciated. Hopefully it encourage more people to come forward. So... I guess just to kick us off, it'd just be good to find out more about, you know, how long you've been in the game, what got you to join in, just a bit of back about your background to get you this point. Yeah, um, well, basically, I, I got the game when it when it first came out. I'm a, I'm an avid um, snooker snooker fan myself, always have been. Um, I think my first memories were of a snooker. Um, watching snooker was when um, Sean Murphy was actually living up at Rotherham, so. Currently, that's where I was born and bred, really. Uh, right. So he were, he's actually one of my fav, favourite players um, of all time. Aside, uh, there's, there's Ronnie as well, obviously, who's uh, an absolute genius. And I love Ronnie to a bit, but I've always had a soft spot for uh, for um, Sean Murphy. But but yeah, I mean, I got the game in um, in 2019 when it came out and I, I was playing as as Sean uh, from, from the get-go. And um, I was put it on career mode and... We're having like little mini tournaments between us, a uh, few friends. Um, I think we had it on pro. I think it were on pro the aim and uh, the aiming aid then. But um, I just used to go on career, career mode. And I just thought, well, surely there's got to be something out there. And we, we as, as friends, we, it were a little bit bitter because I'd go on it now and again, and and I'd have I'd go on FIFA because that that was another thing that I used to play pro clubs on FIFA a lot and. And there were, no, there were no real continuity on it. And I thought, well, I'm sure I'd, I'd be able to get in, into a runner, um, a runner games where I can be competitive and yeah. and to a, comp, com, a competitive competition. But there were nothing out there. There were nothing mm. whatsoever. And and I sort of like, I just, I, I went on it for my own enjoyment. I'd watch a bit of snooker, like World Championships, UKs at York. Uh, yeah. There have been a few times. And, and it just get me inspired just to play especially in um pandemic and, and what yeah, I do. Yeah. When I when I can get to certain venues and just play on the game. But um that that's that for me really first I first got it when when it came out and and then I've I found this this wonderful league and I, it was just going through Michael I, I think it was on the PS4 and and then it's um I've never looked back. It's the best yeah. thing I've ever done. Uh, I'm sure a few others, I'm sure uh, other lads have said the same as well. But um, it, it's just, it's just honest. It's just been honest. It's mm. it's like it is like playing it for like said for real, like. But um, but yeah, it's since like 2019 it came out, and like I say I still still love the game. Yeah, yeah, no, it's quality. As you say, I think some of the guys have said how important it's been to them, especially during the pandemic, and obviously people being on furlough or you know even even just whatever, just that thing of being locked in a lot more, and this kind of gives you a bit of a route out in a way, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, it, that's it. Yeah, it's just, um, it's just again, it, it's not. It's a good time filler, especially when you when you're bored or if, especially with the pandemic. It's just um, keeps testing you, keeps testing yeah. you diff, different different levels. You'll you'll set you send a target, say, look, can I make, make a century here, or if I don't make a century, I'll re, I'll I'll start I start a game with myself again, and I'll try and try and beat it. It's just little targets like that, but it's the game. Just uh, I know it's got a few. There's been a few flaws technical wise that mm. um, I know um, Ripstone were looking into, but apart from that, there's there's only they're minuscule things. But yeah, what games don't have that sort of glitches and um, but the the competitive edge to it and the game game uh, itself is absolutely top notch. Yeah, it's a good point. And it's it's interesting actually. Well, I remember talking to Lee uh, Lee Mack in episode two and. Being a yeah. really accomplished player himself, it was interesting to hear about how much he could track across his real experience with the game, and he yeah. felt it reacted similar, and you know the angles and the way the balls responded, and it was quite interesting really to hear that from somebody who has that level. <clears throat> and it's it's that competition you mentioned, really, isn't it? So it's real. It's you know when you get in one to one with some other person somewhere else around the UK or 
wherever we've got our players from. I'm not even sure how far we've spread yet. Um, it's real, isn't it? You know, you're competitive. You really want to win, and it, it's it's one against one. There's no mucking about. Whereas the computer, I suppose, it's, it's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's. Um, yeah, they, I mean, there's, there's there's players from. I think I think Jiro who's um, who's in Premier League. He's he's part he's Portugal, so he's yeah. he's way on. So it's uh, it's growing. It's growing at every day, every day that goes by, really. So. I mean, it's it's massive. It's massive now. I just can't believe how much it's got. This, this obviously what you're doing, Michael. It's absolutely, actually, it's fantastic for for everyone involved. It's not just it's not just playing game. With there's, there's good crack as well with with the with the lads. And um, no, I, I mean, I was thinking the other day it'd be good to it'd be good to have a few um, to a few have a few females in as well. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, no, we, we say uh, there's a there's a lot. Of, I mean, I used to play with FIFA um, on mm. the pro clubs and. It'd be nice to bring in other other players into it. I think you know what I mean. Other like say, um, to females and whoever, um, yeah, yeah, all walks of life. I think it'll be great, and I think this is a good what you're doing. It's a good stepping stone, and it gets us out there. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I agree with you. I think it's a bit of a window out there, isn't it? That people who even if they don't play the game, they don't have to be in our group to know about it, and it just gives them another avenue in and. Um, I, I was going to ask Michael whether there was any females because you make an assumption, don't you? When you see the game yeah. tags, you just think, "Well, it must all be blokes." Um, yeah. I have no yeah, idea, but but and I suppose the other bit, you know, talking in some of the part of the, the episodes about almost favourite players and entertainment, and then I suppose the other bit is around attracting the younger crowd, isn't it? You're hoping the game might be something that youngsters will download and think, "Well, I've been playing this for a bit. Maybe I'll go and watch a proper match." At, uh, you know, the next time the championship comes around my area or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is a bit of a, a recruitment tool as well, really, as well as a social tool, which is cool. It is. No, it is. It's. Um, I mean, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Just, just uh, someone might think it's a pox little game. Who knows? That you never know. Starting first couple of frames, and probably think, oh, I might go into this. Might go into it. You're not full time in real life. You don't yeah. know, dear. Yeah. Um, you know, it'd be good to get, like, say, all all walks of. The different kind, different people in here, and well, I know we've got a good basis now, anyway. From what I'll say, Michael's doing, and what you're doing now yourself, Michael. It's um, uh, there's no reason why 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 it can't take off. You know, what I mean, even even more. To be fair, yeah. um, it's yeah. got scope and it's got it's got substance there. And so we're, we're all we're, everyone's. I'm sure I'll speak for everyone as well, but I'm, we're all like rooting for bigger and better better things for this because he does deserve it. And Michael. Um, I know no guts. Um, he's done a fantastic job from scratch, and he's <laughs> he's made it his own. And he's he said it before. He don't get anything out of this. He just gets, um, mm. like I said, not financially or anything like that. He's he just does it off off his own back. Cause the type of guy he is, and it just speaks volumes for everyone who's who's in group at minute and who's in in the leagues. Um, there's not one bad person that um, that's in currently at minute. We've had bad eggs in the past, but there's I said that the 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 creme to creme de la creme it's uh, it's it's there now we're, we're there yeah. yeah no it's quality yeah I have only been in it a few months but and I wasn't sure for a bit because I was trying to get my games in around other commitments and I, I find it a bit difficult sometimes but as you say when you see the you see the dedication that Mike puts into it you kind of think wow you know if I can give a bit back and be involved and help out and, and, and just try and make it work yeah we're actually playing the game is fantastic so anything around it is like a big bonus so so what about the tag then j j boy 10 oh, i should say two underscores 10 shouldn't i yeah uh, two under, you know what michael i was <laughs> thinking about this earlier and i was thinking there's no there's no reason why i why i called it j but I, my nickname before it's jim bob my, my name's j it's dyson it's uh right. my name's jamie dyson so the it's there's the other side of things it's either yeah, dyson yeah. jim bob um j a few times so Really, that I know 10 is my favorite number, that's why I went for the, right. uh, for the champs. I, I went for number 10. Well, if it were available, I, I, I grabbed it with both hands. <laughs> so, <laughs> number, so, um, I mean, I, I, tie, I tie things in number 10 as a striker as well. So, right. I, I've always like I'm a Rotherham United fan, someone's got to be uh, for my sins. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's, there's a few players that have played for Rotherham in the past, and I do like that position, striker, and it's just yeah. reminding me of an attacking option sort of thing. So yeah, really. That the J for basically with first letter of my first name. Yeah. Um, I don't know what about boy. I'll be honest. I just uh, <laughs> J boy. I don't know. I don't know if uh, 
No, I just don't. So I've, there's no reason behind it, but there's the Jays, obviously, I can relate to, and the um, the number 10, there's a, there's yeah. a reason yeah. as well. I was rooting for the Millers. I was really rooting for the Millers in the last game and uh, hoping that Derby were going to go down. I'm a Forest fan, so I thought you were going to do oh, it. Oh, yeah, us. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. But, uh, no, 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 it's... It's a lot of you need a lot of money in that league, and if you don't spend money, you go down. I've said that yeah. all along. As soon as we went up from League One, so yeah, unfortunately, you spend money, but yeah. it's just going to be the same predicament. If not, every going to be yo-yoing, be a yo-yo club. That's all we'll be. Yeah, that's the trouble, isn't it? Yeah, and and is there, you know thinking about the 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 real game, if you like, you've mentioned already, kind of Sean Murphy. I think you know people have been sharing some stories about him, and it comes across as a really genuine and quite a caring guy actually doesn't he seems yeah. to have done stuff for people and he seems to be quite a nice warm fella so in terms of players past and present I'm presuming he's probably your favourite current but is there anyone else in there past or present you like? Yeah I want to say I want to say I, I do want to say um, my gut says Ronnie right. but the, Ronnie well Ronnie is, is me I, I, I sometimes, to be honest, I forget about Murphy. It's only when he was living mm. at Rotherham. Um, as a player, not as a person. Yeah. I think as a person, um, he's head and, head and shoulders above everyone in uh, on circuit, to be fair. Yeah. Um, but, te- I mean, Ronnie's... I, I've, I've got to say that Ronnie is my, my favourite player. Yeah. But um, if I put two and two together, um, if I put the combined... The, 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 the personality and the the way he is and and when he's uh, Sean when he's on the bays mm. I'd have to say Sean but um I mean if I, if I had to pick between them two I would I would have to say I still have to say Sean to be fair just be, yeah. just because of the way he conducts himself basically and I just think he's a role model and, and I know he gets a lot of flack which I don't I, I don't know why I don't know no. there's always been stuff said about these appearances and I just think what an horrible thing you know what I mean for yeah. someone to say yeah. he's just a nice guy and he wants he wants he wants uh, the best for everyone and just for the I mean like when Barry Earn were in charge he just wanted the best for for everyone circuit and trying to yeah. move things forward and he were behind that so and the only thing with Ronnie he just lets himself down we we obviously it's, it's controversial which makes it good in it makes yeah. it good in yeah. all, but. It's not a bad thing, I don't think, it, it, on the other side, but I just mm. think um, Murphy, con- Sean conducts himself even in, well, all, all walks of life, on and off he, the bay, really. He, he's, he's a, he's, this is the big debate, isn't it? Who's the greatest of all time in your eyes? Who's the man that you think is the top man to play the game ever? Got to say, Ronnie. Got to say, yeah. Got yeah. To say, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's no doubt about that, Te- technical wise, talent wise. No one comes close. No one comes close to him. He doesn't even have to think. He could do it with his eyes closed, and he'd still, he'd still beat most bleep people. Yeah, it's a joke, um, isn't it? It's a joke. Yeah, yeah, it's not. <laughs> I mean, I've I've seen him once. Uh, no, so yeah, I've seen him once at the um, me and my friend um, K- KDM at one four seven who just joined actually. Just oh, yeah. in the, so he's in the draw. So that'll be his first competitive game. He's, yeah, uh, me and him normally go to over to York. And we right. go to uh, York Barbican for the mm. UK. Uh, we have a few a few scoops, a few drinks. Uh, mm. it's, it's a nice, lively event, and uh, we're we'll going to watch Ronnie. So we've seen Ronnie. I've seen Ronnie there, like close up, like third, third or fourth row back from oh, the front. A lot of people say it's it's a lot better when you see it on t- telly. Believe me, I, I don't believe <laughs> that. But I've um, I always believe if you go and see it, it's it's unbelievable when you see yeah. it. It's yeah. Even better when you see him live. I bet he's got a presence, isn't he? I've not seen him live, but I bet you I bet there's a presence around him, isn't there? Yeah, there is. It's just, uh, I mean, as soon as they came out, there was that air, there was that that, there was just like expectation. Everything was just like there weren't. You couldn't hear, you could hear a pin drop. So I think yeah. it was just like while wow, we're watching, probably greatest player of all time, and yeah, yeah. So they were it was a godsend for us because we. Um, we were just up. We were worrying that we'd uh, we're not we're not see him. Do you know what I mean? We'd, we we didn't want him to. There were rumours about him retiring a few right. times. We we're like, oh, but it was just it was just great to just to see him. And just, yeah, t- talent wise, no one comes close. And it's just uh, I'm just glad that I've seen him. I can say I've yeah. seen him in real life as well. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, and, it, and, it's, and in terms of the the current season, going back to the league, then the league we're all in. Um, how do you feel it's going? I mean, you're, you're kind of up there scrapping away for the top in the, in the Prem, aren't you? So how, how do you feel about the season you've had? In? Um, it's <clears> going well. <throat> to be fair, it's, I'm, I'm having a decent season. It, 
in that in Premier League, it's about, it's all about consistency. It's all about you might play, you might you might nail someone, you know, you might you might win someone four nil, um, mm. and then your next next game, there's no. I mean, you probably had it yourself as well, Michael. But you you'll go into a game and you just think, I'm not feeling it today. Yeah. I'm not feeling. It. There's yeah. nothing. There's, there's no reason behind it. So, I mean, I suppose when when them games come, it's just about gritting your teeth and just, yeah. just trying to battle because you know what well, we said it, and a couple of others have said it before on on these podcasts about mm. the uh, if you get one chance, you you're not gonna if they get one decent chance, you're not gonna get a check. You you're not gonna come back to the table unless no. something if, unless they have an in off or the pack goes wrong and, and, and the red goes in if you're on a colour and that's all you're hoping for but apart yeah. from that nine times out of ten ten times out of ten you, they're going to clear up so yeah. you, you, you've got to make you've got to make most of it once you get once you get a chance uh, yeah but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm feeling I'm, not, I'm feeling good uh, confident it's, it's just that why are you going to feel next game because yeah. there's no, yeah. you've got to take the rough with the smooth that's, that's, the, that's the aim that's the game yeah. You're not playing well all the time, and I and I appreciate that, and I just take it as it comes, and you just you just got to do everything in your power. It's an old cliche. Just take one game at a time, do everything in your power that, mm. uh, keep it tight, and then take your chances when when it comes. That's that. I think that's the key to the to the game. To be fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think as you say, I mean, almost I'm in League Three. I only just started, and and I've not played it for as long as a lot of people, so I'm still kind of learning, but. It feels like the lot, the higher you go up, the more, as you say, the more you get punished really for mistakes. And then, and it's good in a way if you play players like that, because then you start thinking, right, I've got to tighten up. I've got to really kind of get hold of this. But then it also it makes you come out of yourself. And I'm so I'm trying to learn to come out a bit more rather than almost play around the pack. I'm yeah, thinking, yeah. well, you've got to open it if you've got any chance of, of yeah. taking control. So it's interesting. But as you say, it's, uh, yeah, it's cutthroat. And I think at your level, it must be. You must get quite a lot of quick frames where you're almost done in 15, 20 and then you're straight on to the next one. Yeah, and I've had a few of them go against me. Believe me, believe me. You just you just sat there and you you have a cover <laughs> and you and you think, wow, oh, they're on 60, 70 odd, and you think that's it then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. <laughs> although, we'll although, the in, although in a way that's the great leveler, isn't it? Because then if you're the opponent and you're the underdog, it's like the world championships, you know. If you if you manage to get a lucky break or something's loose and you manage to pick that up and you're the lower ranked player, well. The other player can't touch you when you're on the table, can they? It's almost that's the weird thing about snooker for me. Just the thing of once you're at the table, your opponent can't do anything to really affect you. I mean, they might send you a message on WhatsApp, but then you might just ignore them anyway. Um, whereas, whereas, yeah, whereas in a lot of sports, you know, there's always two people affecting each other, aren't there? But on this yeah. one, if you're at the table, your head's in it, you've managed to get to it. It doesn't matter how good the other guy is if you can put the break together. No, exactly. If you, put, I say. It, when you're at table, there's nothing that anyone can do. At the end of the day, it's. Um, I always take it. I always say what Ronnie said. Every shot, even though it's a safety, hundred percent. Make sure you're playing that shot right. Make yeah. sure you you're playing it right. Any, any again on snooker on snooker game. It, if you've got any doubt, reevaluate. Have a look where where why it's going where line's going to go and just reevaluate. Oh, is it going to hit the knuckle when it goes back up the table, or is it going to go in off? Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, I suppose it's a uh, it's it's. It's the same as only same when you play in real life when you get up off the shot and you just got to make sure that you're playing it hundred percent and you're sure you're sure about it. That's that's the only yeah. thing I'd add a pointer I'd I'd say really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the worst thing in a way is when you get up and you've given you've either missed the pot or you've given something away and you think I just didn't think that through. It's, you don't mind losing when somebody else just blitz you, but when you lose because you've done a stupid thing, you think oh, oh yeah. mate, yeah. I've done it many a time, many a time. I still do it now. So I still do it. But I'm, I'm still prone to it. And like I said, we I think I think it's normal, isn't it? We we, yeah. we, we do things. Um and it's the, the top players in real life, that they're not where, where they are because they're, they're they're absolutely amazing all the time. It's it's the no. mistake and the and the bad times that the the losses and what have you they learn from and think, oh, next time I'll I'll try and yeah. tighten up. Um, but you I mean you're right with it with the friendlies. Um I mean, try just testing you yourself against the top players I've never been interested about really um, been trying to uh, in a friendly I try and get someone who it doesn't really matter I'll still play anyone yeah, yeah. to get something out of it you want to be playing the, the top the top yeah. just to uh, even if you do if, if you if even if you do get battered so what yeah, yeah, yeah. Friendly, yeah. so yeah, that's the that's the only way you, you we learn really yeah um, yeah no I quite quite agree that that's what I'm trying to do it's nice actually in the early days that I didn't put asking for friendlies much on the group 
because I only come in, I was in the bottom division. I thought people weren't even bothered, but it's nice now. You feel like you've got more of a chance of getting, you know, because you've been in there a bit longer. And you know, it's a nice feeling to to play somebody, to, as you say, play someone better because it just sharpens you up. You kind of got, you, you can go two ways, can't you? You can fold or you can go, I'm going to learn from this one. Um, yeah. But once you're at the table, if you get that break, then if you get that lucky lucky bit in and you're in and you play yourself in, then why not? You know, you, All right. yeah, the other fellas watching you then or going to do something else. I think a lot of it is between, I think a lot of it is between the ears, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I think, yeah. Just forget it. Just try, just, I know it's hard to forget about <laughs> it. You said yeah. then done. Um, but just, just play it as though you've relax your relax your thumbs as I said. Just yeah, yeah. you just can tense up, can't you? Which again, yeah. this box makes it so so real and so it's it's so good, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's playing real life, it's this tension there. Yeah, um, without a doubt, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, isn't it? And, and then you know, and kind of almost the last of the main bit of the chat is um, you know the World Championships draw was made last night. Uh, I think you've got have you got Phil, haven't you? Phil, Mack? yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a tough one. Tough one, very tough one. It's a um, flipper of a coin, as I say. It, you you yeah. just don't, you just don't know. It's gonna. I'm looking forward to it because I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good game. Yeah, um, good games with Phil. It's good. It's a, he's a great player. So it's, uh, it's a long format as well. So mm. anything could happen. It could, it could be Everly. It could be a score. Every, every score his side, my yeah. side. It could be a tight one. Anything yeah. can happen, which is, which is all. But on parcel, the world championships. Again. Yeah, yeah. I guess you'd imagine that with that many frames, you'll you'll hopefully learn more about players and where they're at because you can yeah. make a couple of mistakes then, can't you? But you've not lost your league match then. Yeah, um, exactly. So that's I think, quite yeah, interesting. It will be, yeah. I think this is going to be, I think out of the, all the tournaments, I think this is going to be the most exciting one. I must yeah. admit, because it's going through a session, it's like you're, you're going, mm. you're going back to you're going back to your little dressing room, having your cup of tea, <laughs> yeah, yeah. manager, and <laughs> I'm having a word with my wife, saying, "What do I need to be doing here? Or what, what can I do? <laughs> Give <a> massage." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. And as you say, you feel different, don't you? You kind of know where you're at early in the game, and so you yeah. you, you might not feel it one session, but perhaps you can come out and uh, they keep playing the old Dennis Taylor, Steve Davis kind of final, the '85 final, and what a turnaround! So you just never know, do you? You don't know. It's not over. It's it's not over until it's over, is it? The la- yeah. that last that last ball's potted and it's official. Um, yeah. You're in it. You're in it. You might be. You might be six nil down. You're still in it. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I'm yeah. watching with interest. Yeah. So, I'm so uh, to it. yeah, and good luck, of course. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, yeah it made it made the best man win when you come to it. Um, I'm yeah. just going to go to the quick fire. So this is just I'm doing this with everybody. It's a bit silly. It's not really. It's not meant to be anything taxing. But um, I'll give you two choices. If you don't like either, you can just say neither. But you know, but see where you go. So the first yeah. one is is Star Wars or Star Trek. Star Wars. Well, that's the right answer. Um, good stuff. <laughs> so the second one, Cliff Forbin or Alex Higgins. Alex Higgins. Oh, okay. That's leveling it up a bit. Cliff was getting yeah. away a bit, to be honest. Yeah, I saw uh, I saw Lee the other day, and that, to be fair, right, he goes some good points why why he went with Thorburn, which is fair enough. But I think talent wise, again, yeah. I just uh, I've always just liked him on table as well. Again, from what yeah. I've seen him, can't really remember him growing up, but um, mm. yeah, I'd, I'd say against yeah. Yeah, yeah, entertainment. Um, cats or dogs? I'm gonna to have to say cats because I've got a cat, but I don't know if my art or arts really <laughs> mean that. it's an hard one because we've had dogs before, so it's right. only because currently I've got a cat. Right. And again, I'd be I'd be I'd be torn really, but I I think because we've got a cat at the minute closer to cats, I'd say. Right, fair enough. Yeah, I don't think that would be the toughest thing I asked you today, but that's a, that's a good one. Uh, new, I guess this is more about country or city, so New Zealand or New York. New York, hundred percent. Yeah, quality. Uh, and the last one, really, fish and chips or a posh meal out. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Too right. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Okay, just just a bit of fun. Just be obviously to get to know a bit more about you. So so I mean that's that's us really. You know, I'm going to wrap it, but um, it's been really cool of you to take some time out just to spend with me and obviously help others. Both in the league and, and outside, you might be thinking about joining or getting 
Yeah. So, um, you know, just very grateful for your time, Jay Boy, and uh, and hopefully, you know, you can uh, have a good end to the season and and make some progress in the champs. Hopefully, hopefully, no, no. No, thanks for having me on, Michael. It's uh, must. Uh, it's it's fantastic what you're doing, and it's a pleasure to be on. Uh, no, thank you for asking all these questions, and good luck in your season as well. Oh, and, thank in the you. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. Right, brilliant. So, I'll, well, no doubt we'll see each other over the Green Bays at some point. So uh, yeah. all, all the best, Jay, bye, and uh, on to the next episode.